Hey guys, and welcome to tonight's stream. I'm working again on a new commission piece, so I hope you can join me for that. I love doing these on live streams because it's fun to chat with you guys while I work. And it's also fun to feature you guys who have hired me to do a commission to kind of give you a little shout out and thank you for that and everything. So let's uh, move on to that and make sure everything is working. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Um, today's stream is brought to you, let me zoom in here on it a little bit, uh, by the, goes by Mountain, and this is their DeviantArt account if you'd like to go over and check them out. So this is their character, Haru, um, I'll be drawing him today, uh, she wants her character drawn in kind of a Halloween costume, so that'll be fun keep feeling like something is crawling on my leg you know that feeling and you're like it's not a bug but then you don't look and then it, it is a bug so I think it's just my sweater but my luck it would be a bug I was working in her earlier today and I had my door open the biggest dragonfly flew and freaked me out I love nature outside of my studio but when things come into my studio, I don't know, I lose my mind. So I ran one way and it flew the other way. So I think it flew out. I have not seen it for several hours. So, and it was one big, it was like a pterodactyl dragonfly. And uh, yeah, so I think it's it's gone. But now I'm like, is it crawling up my leg? That would be, that would be very scary. <laughs> hey, my journey, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get on to the actual drawing of this. Again, if you're just joining the stream, this is a commission piece that was commissioned by the viewer Mountain, and this is her character Haru, and she wants me to draw him in kind of a Halloween costume. She said like a vampire or a witch or something, and so I thought making him a little, a little vampire lord would be, would be so fun. And it's getting close to Halloween, so it's putting us in the spirit. So, exactly. Um, for anyone who is interested in the commission, I think there I renewed one spot. So I think I can do one more before I have to start really focusing on Inktober is coming. And so I don't know how my time is going to be once Inktober starts. So I have to kind of figure out that because my goal is to um, do obviously a picture every single day. I'm trying to decide if I want to post a video every single day. So let me know in the comments, would you be interested in watching a quick video every day or is that a little bit too much? Would you like just a, a weekly video to update you on my Inktober progress? Of course, I'll be posting pictures every single day on my Instagram so you can check that out. Links are in the description box below. So how are the kittens doing is a question in the comments. They're doing really well. Um, one of them, Dewey, was really sickly the last couple of weeks. Um, he's been kind of sickly since I've gotten him. He's a fighter, so he doesn't act like it, but his poor tummy, he's just had some issues. And today I think we made our first big breakthrough with that. So keep praying that he gets better because he's on like two different kinds of medication. And for a while there, it was not looking like it was helping at all. So I'm hoping it will help now. So yay! Um, okay, I'm just making sure everything is running smoothly, and then I'll jump over. I need to get comments switched over. There's a fly in the studio. I think that was crawling on my leg. Fly on the studio. So daily Inktober videos. Inktober shorty videos would be cool. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, my goal first and foremost is to draw something every day. If I can accomplish that goal, then we will move up to the posting a video every single day, if we can. Make sure the volume is turned off on this. There it is, my streams right there. And there's your guys' comments. I found it so fast this time, you guys. That's so awesome. All right, I'm going to attempt to put this someplace. So the only thing I don't like about this one my other one had a stiff back, so I could just brace it like this one, but this one wants to like do this little curly thing. And there's supposed to be some way that I can fold it. 
I think it's like this. Isn't that so fancy? I'm gonna try putting it here and I think I can read everyone's comments that way. Yes. All right. Yay. Finally caught me live. Pause was the um, person who hired the, or sponsored the commission video last stream and wasn't able to make it. And now I'm just suddenly realizing I have not seen my stylist, not my like fashion stylist, but my pin stylist yet. I'm going to try to look for it without causing a lot of noise on the microphone. But you know how I am because this will be a very interesting video if I have to draw with my mouth. Okay, let's lift this up. No. Where would I put it, you guys? That's not good. It's usually right here. And it's not right here. Hang on, this is the exciting parts of the stream where it's so interesting. Yes, I try to find my stylist. That's lame of me. Um, chat amongst yourself for just a moment. <laughs> this is top notch, high end quality food for filming. I can't talk tonight. We're just doomed. I can't talk. Now I can't draw. Well, let me stand up and try not to bump the microphone. Looking at my... Sometimes I stick it with my drawing pens thinking it's a real pen. Well, this is just a fine habit. Oh, don't worry, you guys. Found it. I found it. I found it. There it is. Now. Now we can start trying. <laughs> it was underneath this white cloth, this, it's under all the Alice in Wonderland stuff that I did, like all the foam board that I used and everything, it was hiding under there. So, <laughs> all right, let's jump to the drawing here. Um, so this is a little character, his name is Haru. And again, she wants him in a kind of a Halloween costume. So she recommended like a little vampire or, you know, witch or wizard or something. And I, I love the idea of a little vampire. He looks like the little prince from, um, or also looks like, what's that one character from, was it Fruits Basket? The bunny? Or am I thinking of something else? I can't remember. He looks like he looks like a character from one of the animes I watched. It's so sweet. All right, let's just sketch in a basic body. All right, so if he is a vampire, we have to kind of I'll, I'll sketch out a couple different shapes or positions for this one, and then we'll go again. I have a little fly right here. He's he's just chilling on my on my board watching us. Going, hey, I want to be part of the stream. All right, so first let's give him, let's do a little arm fold. All right here. I'm drawing nice and fast so I can get a nice um, position with, with lots of motion and, and feel so it's not super stiff. All right. So we have Fly, you're wearing out, you're welcome. Shoot. <laughs> yes, Orin High, that's the one. I'm pretty sure that's the one. All right, so there's that position there. But also we could give him kind of like a f flying position. Do, do vampires kind of float, don't mm -hmm. they? So let's see, we'll give him, or we could make him like a little boy witch on a broomstick. That would be cute. Let's just sketch that up and then we'll have a vote. So what's everyone dressing up or are you dressing up? And if so, you are the friendliest fly. So I 
haven't thought about what I'm dressing up, I'm going to hopefully sew my niece Eva an Alice in Wonderland costume because she's got like super long blonde hair. And we did Rapunzel last year, but it's like the perfect length to be Alice in Wonderland. So give them a little broom. You're going to be a bird. Nice, going to be a unicorn. Okay, so there's one on a broomstick. Again, we're not getting into like any of the details. And then the last one, we'll have him dress up as a vampire, but holding a bag, like a, like a trick-or-treat bag. I think that would be cute too. This one's gonna be hard. I'm gonna let you guys vote because I can't choose. So we'll have him be a vampire in this one too. What should you draw while watching this stream? Hmm. That's a good thought. Anyone have some ideas what you guys should draw while watching the stream? What time is it where I am? It is 624 in the evening. That's the reason it's light out still. I live right on the Oregon coast. I think I'll make him a little bit. Okay, so here are the three positions. So we have just the random, like standing there vampire look. Then we have, so that's number one. Number two, we have him sitting on a broomstick like a little boy witch. And then number three, we have him, we'll also have him dressed up as a vampire, but holding a trick-or-treat bag, maybe one of those little, with like a little pumpkin smiley bag with a trick-or-treat. So vote in the comments. Let's see which one we got. Let me, let me get this back in there so you guys can see them all. And tell me which one you think we should do, pose one, pose two, or pose three. Three. So we have a one, a three, a two, a two. I like one, but three and three, but two is so cute. Three, three, one, 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 three, one, one, two, two, one, three, two, two, one, two, three, two. Oh my goodness, it's like even. There's not one that's like one is kind of, but now the twos are coming in. Two, 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 three, three one or three, two, two or three, one, two all the way, two, uh, so okay. Oh goodness, you guys are not making this like landslide one side, but then again, it's hard for me to choose. That's why I have you choose, so I guess it's, um, okay, let's narrow it down. One, we're gonna do this very scientifically. I'm just gonna say, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. Meeny, miny, meeny. Oh my goodness, I can't do it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So number two, as cute as it is, is out. Okay, so you have to vote between one or three. So recast your votes between one and three in the comments. Cannot vote for two, even though I, I was kind of leaning towards two because I think that was really cute. But between one and three. Let's see what it says in the votes. All right, so we have three, one, three, three, three. One, 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 three, 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 one, three, 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 one, three, one, three. And someone cheated. They wrote three, one, three, one, three, one. That's cheating. You can't vote for both. <laughs> three, three, one, one, three, 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 one, three, three, three. I think threes are coming in. One is pretty close, but let's do... Let's do three. He's the winner. Yay! Which is okay, because he's still in his cute vampire costume. He's just going to be holding a cute little trick-or-treat bag. That's awful cute. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Even they're so cute, though. Boop, there we go. All right, and then let's bring up. Oh, you're connected on that page, aren't you? I knew it. Cancel that. And let's... Copy and paste. Not gonna do it, huh? Okay. Why won't you do it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Copy and paste. It's being annoying. Okay, fine. Boom 
and boom. There we go. And get rid of that one. And nope, nope, nope. Go back. There we go. And get rid of that one. Hang on a sec. There we go. All right, now we're good. Now we got the sketch layer on the right level. And my computer's like, I can't understand what you're trying to make me do, crazy woman. The crazy artist. What ink pen do I work? Works well with Copics. I need help. I use any kind of um, Indian ink. Mm, I shouldn't say that. Some Indian inks don't work. Um, I personally use either the Sakura Microns work great or the actual Copic Multiliners work great with them. So those are the two that I find that I like the best for any kind of inking, whether it's watercolor or um, Copic markers. But if anybody in the chat has a better or has one that they use, please make a comment. Is mixed media paper good for markers? Um, the thicker the paper is and the kind of the, the bumpier, bumpier it is, I can't talk to me, I guess, sorry. Um, the more it's going to absorb and kind of damage your markers, I you can use them on that. Like I did the Alice in Wonderland and I used um, watercolor paper. It's just going to soak up your ink really fast because it's just really super absorbent. So you'll find that marker paper is thinner and smoother so it doesn't absorb your your ink as much to saturate the paper. I like Bristol, like a smooth vellum Bristol or even a really nice cardstock is what I use. So um, I have a fly trying to land in my hair. It's not cool fly. I don't want violence on here, but I will spot you. There's two of them. That's why, because I was looking at it He's on my ceiling and all of a sudden my ear got dive bombed by a fly. It's just one of those days. All right, so I'm going to make a new layer and come in with a slightly different color and we're going to get just a little bit more detailed with our positions. In here. Do you guys remember seeing the video that is it a fly that I think yeah he flew into my into my paint water I think it was something I remember it was and then there was the one that ha had was drawing and a spider actually walked across my paper while I was filming those were crazy videos and then there was the one that I was talking and like lightning struck right out of my right outside my window and, and the, the thunder rolled it was so loud. How do you learn how to shade? Um, I watched, actually did not watch YouTube videos. <laughs> That's a lie because back in those days, back in my day, when when I was a young whippersnapper of an artist, there was no tube and no views. Um, I would, got a couple different art books from it and then I just played around with it until I finally figured it out just tried things and then I was like oh, I started with like the ball and you circle and shade the ball and then just went from there and really just looked at things how did things look when they were shaded you are an annoying little fly you're gonna cause me to have great aggression and people don't want to see a violent Valerie How long am I streaming for? Um, usually it takes me about an hour while streaming to do these commissions because I talk too much. <laughs> I get out of, I stop my focus. But um, if I'm just working on these, it maybe takes me 45 minutes. 
but usually it's an hour. That's what I'm going for is, is an hour. It's a fun little character to draw. I'm making some horse OCs and want to learn more about shading and highlighting. Do you have any tips? Reference photos are, are gonna be a big help for you. And also learning the anatomy because you need to know where all the bumps and hills and all that are because you have to know where those things are, where the muscles are, so that you can learn how to shade around them and stuff. Which again, reference photos. So just a heads up, because I know there's a couple people that are wanting shout outs. I don't do just random shout outs because it creates a monster in the chat room and everybody then wants a shout out and then I just spend the entire time reading names. And that is not as productive. So know that I see your comments and I appreciate you guys being in the stream and I appreciate you watching my channel, but I don't just do shout outs. But if you have a question, love to answer questions. I try to look and uh, watch as many of, of the comments as I can for questions. So. Shading is hard. It, it was one of those things that challenged me. And for a long time, I was like, yeah, I don't really need shading. I can get by, which, you, you know, you, you kind of can until you want to go up to that next level. So I wouldn't stress about it, but, you know, don't don't hide from it either. Let's give him a nice coat tail. And then going into it, like give him like a little waistcoat. So dapper. Block his little feet in right over here, and then I'll figure everything else out as I go. So let's give him a little bit. Let's back this out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry, that's really Disney. Disney, not Disney. Disney. Dizzying when I do that. <laughs> Move the pipe around. Just want to give him a little bit of a. All right, so. If I'm missing something, oh, thanks. I'm like, there's something I'm missing uh, for a vampire, <laughs> right? Fangs. So if you guys see anything else that I'm like, I, I'm gonna put some sort of bat motif in here as well. Cause you know, bats and vampires are like best buddies. There we go. We'll give him a little fang right there. And he has in his hair a little like a little bobby pins to hold his hair back. But because he's a vampire, I think I'm gonna give him like little vampire bobby pins. And I will do this a little bit better when I... All right, so there is the sketch. Now let's flip it and we can see what we need to fix by flipping it just opens up stuff. So I'm going to pull, pull them forward a little bit there. Get rid of that one behind there. Okay. 
Am I planning on doing Inktober? Yes, I am. In fact, I just got something in the mail, right? I don't make it too loud on the microphone. Sorry, guys. Shh. Got something in the mail today to try out. I'm so excited to give it a shot. I've tried dip pins before. I'm going to make a video on this so you guys are getting a sneak peek. Um, I tried a dip pin, I think, last year, and I didn't like the dip pins. So I've seen a few other artists use glass dip pins, and I'm wondering if it'll work better for me. So I got this one. It's called the Galaxy and it's glass and it's beautiful it's got like these sparkles in it it's so lovely and i'm excited to use it so i have not tried it and i opened it just to see make sure it wasn't broken but i'm planning on doing a video on that kind of giving my thoughts about the glass dip pin let's see if i can create some art with it i don't know that i'll do every single piece with it but that's the fun thing about you know inktober and stuff like that is different challenges is try try some new stuff that would be fun. So, shh, it's a secret, so don't tell anybody. No, just kidding. All right. Am I missing anything? Uh, let me double check. Red eyes are very vampire, but he's clearly, his are clearly not red. But maybe he could be wearing contacts. He could, but I'm not coloring this. See, I always want to color him, but it's supposed to be like a one-toned coloring thing. So, but maybe just for the fun of it, maybe we'll give him red contacts because that is a good idea. I like that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see. I'm gonna give him a little bit. Ooh, he's got too much of a waist. That's making him look too not not enough kid in him. I'm gonna give him a nice brooch and there. All right, we're gonna move on to a little bit darker of ink and a different pen. So if we're doing the, the kind of the sketch out part, I like to use this color pencil one here on, and I'm using Clip Studio Paint for those who don't know, um, but it gives me kind of a softer, foggier line. And then when I'm actually doing the actual inking, then I usually move into either a dark pencil line or a light pencil line, but it's a little bit sharper. So let's go and see what this, what this one is, if I'm feeling it. The, the lighter pencil line kind of has a softer edge to things. So I like that. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go with maybe a size eight. Now let's go even smaller. Let's go with size five. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to bring down the opacity just so my layer below is a little bit lighter. And then I can go into the sketching part. Yay. Maybe I could add a bat. Yes, I do want to make a little, some little bat motif or a little bat flying out there. I think that'd be really cute. Do I have any tips for drawing boys and maybe little children? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> so watch this really cool live stream of this YouTuber who's drawing this little boy as a, as a vampire. So sometimes I like this pen and then sometimes I don't. I haven't quite decided if I like it yet. I change all the time. Everyone's like, a lot of artists have like a set pen thing setting that they like. I change all the time. I'm like, mm, sometimes I like this and sometimes I like that. Reason my calibration on my pen is not not quite exact on my tablet, so it's a little bit off. So the dot is not exactly at the tip of my pen when I put it on there. So I have to go back and kind of fix the calibration. But because I'm left-handed for some reason, I always have a hard time getting it to calibrate well for a left-handed. <laughs> Do I have a name for him? His character is over here. Is Haru? 
Um, so this is an actual an OC character from um, one of my viewers named Mountain and Mountain commissioned me to draw her character in my own style. So that is what I'm doing. I think it's so fun to take your guys' characters and and play around with their design and you know, see how I would draw them. It's challenging to take someone's character and try to draw it in their style. And plus, if you already draw your own character and you want it in your own style, you're probably the best person to draw that character. So I think it's always fun to get an artist to draw your character, but in their style. That was one of my favorite uh, gifts that I've ever gotten from one of my viewers is they took a character that I drew, but they drew it in their own style and sent it to me. It was, oh, I loved it so much. They put so much work into it. It was an, an artist that I really kind of looked up to. She was doing a, a web comic. I don't even know if she's still online anymore, but I was like, oh, so it was like one of those, you know, art people, they like, can't believe they actually like talk to you. And then she drew one of my characters. I was so cool. So excited. Give him a pumpkin on his bag. I think so. I think I'm going to do that. I think I had that in the original little sketch. I have a neon pony, and I'd love to see how you would tackle that with one tone. Oh, that would be challenging. I'm gonna swing this around here. Sorry to make your eyes as dizzy. All right, I need to move this up just a little bit. You art addict, that's very sweet of you. I think neon is really cool, so don't don't worry what anyone else says about neon colors. Especially if it's your OC. Some people are like oh, people don't like how I design my OC. It's your OC. You can make your OC however you want to. fun thing of creating an original character. That's why I love this little character because you know he's this cute little boy but he's got such a sweet little face. I just love him. He's so sweet. He looks like he he's someone who I'd want to be friends with. And he looks like he'd like to eat candy with me. So Now watch mount him right back and be like, no, he, he doesn't like sweets. <laughs> well, he looks like he should. He looks like he loves sweets. So hopefully he does because I've envisioned him liking sweets. All right, that's a weird eye. Let's fix that eye. Got to get those anime shines in there. Does he have eyebrows? I mean, like, thin little eyebrows. But again, it's my style, so if I give him thick eyebrows. Have a good evening, Art Addict. Thanks for stopping by. How much are my commissions? For digital commissions like this, where I'm just drawing in one color, I'm not adding any background or um, color, I think I have them at $20 and it's a digital, so you get the digital file. But I am hoping 
to open up, maybe not in October, maybe in November, um, I'm open up traditional art. And I have these really cool sketchbooks that I picked up. They're Mos Moleskin sketchbooks. Well, I have sketchbooks and then I have little journals. And I thought it'd be fun to either um, draw and design on the cover or on the first page and people can uh, choose that. So then you get not only get a piece of art, but then you get a sketchbook that you can draw on. Had I thought of this earlier, I would have maybe done this um, earlier in September so that people could get like a custom Inktober sketchbook. So that would have been fun. So I got a couple of those picked up. So yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. And uh, I might try to, to do those in the coming up future. So if you want any more information about commissioning uh, a cartoon of your OC, there's a link in the description of this video. I'll take you to my Etsy shop. Um, I think I only have one listing up right now because um, I can only take a few at a time just because I don't want you guys to have to wait you know, more than a week before you actually get your drawing. So um, I, I usually do them one or two at a time. And then when I get that one finished, then I, if I know I'm going to have time the next week, then I open up for another one. And then hopefully during November, um, I'll be able to open up for, for more just because they're a fun Christmas gift and stuff like that. But for those I want to do for traditional art. Or I was thinking about, wouldn't it be fun, because I love to do stickers, wouldn't it be fun to do a commission of, uh, of a digital cartoon character, whether it's of you or of your pet or your OC or whatever, and then you get some stickers and I'll make a sticker sheet for you. I thought that would be fun. So I haven't quite worked out all the details for that. The only problem with traditional art is it is so stinking expensive to mail it overseas. Like even mailing something to Canada, I think it's almost cheaper for me to drive to Canada to give it to people than it is to mail it. I'm like, oh, but I don't want to limit it just to people who are in the States because I don't know, that just doesn't seem fair. But yeah, it is what it is. I think the flies went to sleep. That one's still up there. I don't know where the other one is, but they have not been dive bombing me. Yay. Am I planning to do a Halloween drawing soon? I am. If you guys watched Monday's video, I'm going my plan is to do something very similar to Monday's video, but a little Halloween themed. So I'll let you guys just guess what you think that might be. But I'm so excited. I had so much fun making Monday's video. It was supposed to be Saturdays because I thought, oh, I could do it in a day. Mm -mm. The thing took forever to do, but it was so much fun. For digital art, what would you suggest for blending colors together? Many of the tools I've used um, end up smearing the colors instead. Yeah, mm. it's kind of to play around with your tool. So for Clip Studio Paint to blend two colors, I use this one down right down here. It's, it's a blend, but if you click on it, you can get a blend, a blur, a fingertip, running color on fibers, all these different things. And so you can kind of choose your tool and then you can actually down here customize it to exactly what you need it to be. Um, Sometimes I'll use, if it's a large area and I want the large area to go from like a dark blue into a pink, I'll go down here and actually just use a gradient. And so clicking here, then I can, you know, mess around with this and get the gradient that I want. So those are kind of my, my tips for that. Something popped over here. I don't know what it was. Hmm. I want to see you do painted rocks. I have one video where I did painted rocks, but I did when I was on my trip down to California for the Bigfoot piece for the last YouTube Artist Collective, I went, stopped at this 
amazing beach in Gold Beach, um, Oregon, which is about two and a half, maybe three hours south of where I live. Mm, two hours. I'd say two hours. Anyway, they have this beach. I don't know what the real name is. I've heard it's called Kissing Rock. But there's tons of absolutely... Fly! I tried to fly up my nose. <laughs> Did you guys see that? He told me I was like... Rrr. I was trying to be cool. I was like, just keep talking. Just keep... I was all like, trying to go up my nose. We are not that close of friends. No, we are not. You buy me chocolate or something before you fly up my nose. Anyway, Kissing Rock. They have amazing rocks there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We live in Canada and price po post prices have skyrocketed. I know. And this makes me so sad. Could I do more music pieces like art about music? Mm, you have to explain it like you make music because I'm not musical. I wish I was musical. Or pieces inspired by music. Which that would be hard too because for copyright reasons I can't play music on my YouTube channel. So it would be really hard to be like, this piece is inspired by a piece of music that I can't let you listen to. But you can listen to it here. <laughs> I don't know, it'd just be, it'd be so sad. I'd want to play the music for it. Let's see if I'm holding the bag, the thumb goes inside the bag. Okay. Do you have to do that, like pretend to hold something so you can figure out where your fingers are? That still doesn't feel right. Hang on, I really have to do hold it. But I pretended this was a bag. It would go up and over my thumb. Okay. Why is my eraser so tiny? It's a tiny baby eraser. Can you name those flies? Um, well, only if I can write them on a tombstone. <laughs> oh, goodness. involving music yeah I don't know if I can um oh like have music in the background is that what you're talking about because there are royalty free why is his hand so hard what's wrong with it what's wrong with you I can use royalty free music go away you don't get to fly up my nose anymore my, my friend, she can just like whack a fly with her hand. I feel that's so gross. It's going to get violent, guys. It's going to get violent. Where'd you go? Oh, that was really violent. It's going to get violent. <laughs> go away. Sorry. Sorry, I'm really loud. Okay. I have, to, I have to figure out this bag before the fly kills me. I was just telling everyone, Fly, that you left me alone. You were nice and you were kind. And and now, look, you've made a liar out of me. Okay, I'm going to have that go over his thumb. Okay, so listen to some classical music and do a piece inspired by that music. That would be fun. There are some songs out there that are just super inspiring. And I suppose I could do it and, like, just give, like, a link. Kind of like I did with the Alice in Wonderland ride the the point of view and I just left a link so if people wanted to watch the full ride they could do that so that's an idea <laughs> okay sorry I'm being too loud <laughs> all right I had to like choose like a really fun foreshortened pose. Gotta foreshorten those arms. I should have stuck with number two. Like the choice number two. Yeah. 
we might have to go back to it if this these arms don't start working for me I think it's working let's let's flip it back around I think it's okay yeah I was just looking weird up close I love Fleur Elise yes That's one thing I wish I could have spent more time learning was a musical instrument. But I chose art, drawing art instead of music art instead, so. So that's one thing I enjoyed is listening to people who can just, especially those who can just listen to music and then play it. I think that's magical. I had a friend who went to see a movie and when she came home, she just sat down at the piano and just played the soundtrack from her brain. That is a special kind of mutant powers, which is awesome. I love that. So if you could be really good at something like art or painting or sports or baking or singing what what talent would you choose like if you were like a super genius in that form what would it be like i think i would still choose art to want to pursue because I love it so much but if I couldn't choose art I think it'd be music like either to be able to sing or to be able to just create I think that would be so fun just to sit down and be able to create music maybe that even more than singing singing would be great but maybe sometimes you just don't feel like singing but you want to play your flute or harp or cello or something I would love to play the violin oh I think the violin is so beautiful my best friend growing up she uh, played the flute and it was really fun because I knew her when she first started playing the flute which if you've ever heard someone who first starts learning how to play a musical instrument especially like the flute it's not the um, greatest <laughs> so she'd practice and she lived it right across the street from me and the whole neighborhood could hear her practicing and it was just amazing over the summer as it went from just her trying to get the note to all of a sudden you go I know that song because it's just like woofing through the air and then after she'd done it for a couple years she was amazing at it Do I have any tips for digital art? I have lots of tips for digital art. I think that probably the easiest way would be to have you go and watch the playlist that I did, um, Drawing Digitally 101, and I give all the tips there. It's really like verbal art tips are really hard because you're like, so you know, draw a line like, like straight but curvy. <laughs> so much easier to show people than it is to to talk about it tips for art otherwise you just get the the normal answers practice reference keep drawing don't give up <laughs> which are great those are true but when you're really wanting something deeper than that Finish up the bottom of his cape here, and then I can go back and start working my lines a little bit better. So normally when I draw, I focus so much that I don't talk. So 
I find with streams, I either forget to talk or I talk too much. And then I go back and go, why did I draw that line? That's just, yeah. What is my favorite art medium or media media? Um, I probably my first favorite would be color pencil because that was the first art that I really began to feel proficient in as a teenager. And then I would have to go with um, watercolor because watercolor and color pencils go so beautifully together. And then I would go with Copic markers and all three of those go beautifully together. But you have to do them the right way, otherwise they can totally ruin your Copic markers. So I generally will go in for smaller details of flat coloring with the Copic markers. And then if there's something big, like the background or something, then I'll put that in with watercolor and then I'll go in for tight details with highlighting and shading with the colored pencils. Go away, fly. Leave me alone. Don't land on my ear. All right, I'm just gonna have to get a bigger pencil because these shoes just not have the, I think I see the bigger pencil line. Let's go with a nine and let's go with zoom in and let's turn it. So if you ever find that you're having a hard time getting a line and you just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and it's just not, turn the direction of your paper because sometimes your hand just gets used to drawing the line and it's the wrong line but your hand's like that's what we've always done for the last two minutes I can't change now and so if you change like you know, rotate your paper a little bit then your hand has to make a little bit of a, of a different line even if it's trying to get that normal line so sometimes that can help sometimes just crying into a pillow helps but you know I don't have a pillow with me right now so Oh, that foot. What's wrong with it, you guys? It's looking so weird. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here to this layer, and I'm going to go and grab this again. I'm just going to sketch it out. Sorry about the truck sounds. So I find sometimes I worry too much about the line and not the shape, so I can't get the shape because I'm trying to get the line. So if I go on a different layer, so I'm down here on layer one, and I'm just sketching in my foot shape right there, then I can get the shape that I like. Then I can go back up here to layer four, which is my line for my shoe, and now I should be able to get it in there. So there are some tips and tricks for you guys. So has anyone seen any good movies? I know the, it's not Bigfoot, but it's the Bigfoot, no, it's Yeti, the snow monster movie. Cartoon just came out. Is it Smallfoot, I think? I kinda wanna see that. Has anyone seen it? I think it's out. There, that's better. Let's zoom back a little bit. Good, now I have to fix this one. And I also want to um, see the one about the clock and the walls with with um, Jack Black. Has anyone seen that one? I want to see. No spoilers, but has anyone seen it? Is it good? So I want to see it. Pete's Dragon is a good movie. The old one or the new one? See, I liked the new one, but I am a traditionalist. I grew up with the old one. There we go. Okay. 
It's a uh, house with a clock in its walls. Yeah, that's it. I saw Infinity Wars. That was good. No spoilers. Just in case there's someone out here who hasn't seen it yet. But I don't know how you survived without having things spoiled for you. The new one. I haven't seen the old version yet. Oh, you have to. It's, you know, it's definitely old school. It's got some great songs in it. I love the Candle on the Water song. There, I think that's better for his shoes. I'm going here for his waistcoat. You don't care about spoilers. <gasps> okay. You guys can whisper spoilers to them. They don't care, but don't say it loud because I don't want I don't want to be spoiled. Okay, so this isn't a spoiler because the movie's been out longer than most of you guys have been alive. But I remember so excited to see the original Land Before Time when it came out in theaters, and it was coming out on my birthday or really close to my birthday. And I was so excited because my parents were going to take me to the movies, and we didn't get to do that very often, and so was getting ready to went to church that morning and while I was at church this kid came up to me you know and I told him I'm gonna go see Lamp for time I'm so excited and they said oh I know it's really sad when the mom dies and I was like what <laughs> so sad they were I mean it's a sad thing but I was like I can't believe they spoiled it for me there was something else a big movie that someone spoiled for me as well they thought I had seen it and they were like, you know. I was like, whoa. You saw the house with the clock wall and the clock in its walls in IMAX. I've only seen one IMAX. And it was actually Beauty and the Beast. I got to see it in IMAX. And that was fantastic. I have a snake in on my me it's like a sliver or something in my clothes have you ever had that where you like have this like sliver in your clothes and it keeps like sticking you and you're like ouch <laughs> i can't find it it's just the fly landing on my knee and taking out like a little blade and being like stab 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 <laughs> okay so here is the outline sketch so now i'm going to just kind of make another layer I'm all about layers and I'm going to add some shading and a little bit not coloring it and stay with the same color that's too big but I'm just going to kind of add in some shadows okay that's too small but I do think I'm going to give him like some red eyes because I think can't remember which one of you guys gave that suggestion, but that's a cool suggestion. Just a little pop of color. I'm not coloring it. Just a little pop of color. Don't have to make the little the little bat bobby pins on his hair. And the pumpkin face. We're not done yet. The Sixth Sense was spoiled for you? And the Kingdom Hearts game? Oh, that's just wrong. Especially the Kingdom Hearts game. You can work so hard and someone spoil it for you. Oh, that would be sad. But yeah, Sixth Sense, man, was one of the few movies that I did not see it coming. I was just like, what? I don't think there's been a movie that has gotten me as much as that one. Maybe, mm, what was that one called? It was, mm, it was kind of, it wasn't super scary. It was a ghost sh movie. It had um, Nicole Kidman in it. 
and she lived in this house with her kids who the others the others kind of scary but not like bloody scary i don't like bloody scary i like scary but i don't like gore scary so if you like a scary movie that's not gory and it's kind of ghosty that was a good one and that one i was a little surprised at <laughs> is it casper no it wasn't casper <laughs> How do I pay for commissions? I'm willing to waste my last $23. It's, there's a link in the description box below. It'll take you over to my Etsy shop and you can find all the information over there. Yep. Hopefully you won't feel it's wasted though. All right, I have to decide. I don't like that. Me, me. Do you see how I just totally took that last five minutes of work and just went pfft, down the toilet it went. I'm gonna do something different because it was not I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to clean up the edges. Ooh, this is so big that my computer can't even keep up with me. It's like, that's kind of cool. It looks like smoke. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to go back and just clean things up. I'll see if I can do a trick here. I don't think I can. I think it's going to go inside of it. It did. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to get a nice big brush and I'm just going to go around and clean up the edges. The others, I guessed the end and my friends were terrified of me the whole time because I guessed it at the beginning. Oh, see, I didn't guess it. Sometimes I can guess them, but that one and six cents I did not guess. It says it's sold out. Maybe we already have, only have one listing. Let me see if someone else has ordered it. Hold on one moment. Checking to see if the listing is still available. I only had one out, so it could have sold out already. Or I might not have totally renewed it. I thought I had renewed it, but maybe I didn't. Listing. Nope, not a new one. Filter. Sold out, show the listings, renew, okay, there it is, it's renewed now, okay, give it a minute and then it should be up on the shop, so either I just sold one and renewed it again, just so I think I can fit two in, or I forgot to hit the renew button and just looked at it and went, ah, I need to renew this, but I'm not going to. Which sounds more like me. Oops, too close. She won't leave that. Oops, nope, not saving it yet. Talking to myself while I'm working on art. Singing a song. Bamboo Haru. I'm glad you like him, Mountain Dreams. Everyone say hi to Mountain Dreams. They are the reason we have a stream today. So you have to answer us a question because if you did, I didn't see the answer. But does Haru like sweets? Because I'm betting he does. So 
I'll be really sad if he doesn't. We were talking about it earlier, so I don't know if you answered it then, but I missed it. I now have to pay attention. So that's the funny thing with streams. For those of you who don't know, there's a delay. So when I say something, it's about 15 to 20 seconds before it actually gets to you guys. So when I say something, then I have to remember to pay attention for like the next minute so that I can actually read your guys' answers. So, uh, yes, he definitely has a sweet tooth. Yeah, he just looked like he did. Good, because he's getting lots of trick-or-treat candy and he's very excited. So tell me, does he have friends? Because he needs to have friends. I hope he has friends. Because he looks like such a sweet, sweet person to be a friend to. He's going to have a friend bat. I'm going to give him a little bat, which is going to be very cute. I love to listen to music too sometimes. Unless I'm doing something that needs a ton of focus, then I'll turn my music off. And if I'm writing, then I, it cannot have words. But if I am working on something that um, I don't have to put like a ton of focus on, then I'm totally always listening to music. Like this, working on this, I would be busting out to some some really good music, like Disney soundtracks and things like that. All right, so now that we have them kind of shaded in a little bit, I'm gonna Clear out his. I'm gonna give him white gloves. I'm not coloring this. This is all monotoned. It's all mono. Like Hamilton. I just had my friend listen to Hamilton soundtrack. She had never heard it before. We were dreaming about someday going to New York City and going to see it or going to see a Broadway play. And she said, which play would you want to see? And I was like, well, I'd really like to see Hamilton. But I think you have to listen to it before you go because there's just so much that that if you miss something in one of the songs that it totally um, can make your experience last. Like you'll, you feel like you miss out on something. Anyway, so I was like, let's listen to it. So we drove from coming home from Rose City Comic Con. We listened to it at, from Portland all over here. And we got almost to the end and, and then we had to stop because we went home and we had to go to bed so she hasn't heard the end it was like right at the exciting part who's excited for inktober me i'm so excited i'm like counting down the days and not just because october 1st is my birthday but it is kind of fun that inktober is, starts off on my birthday. It's like it's meant to be. Just put a little bit of extra shadowing here. And a little extra shadowing here. I've heard rumors that they're gonna make a movie based on Hamilton, like the actual Broadway Hamilton which I think would be very fun. My art journey's birthday is on the 7th. We're like art buddy, or not, well, we are art buddies, but we're birthday buddies. And I know Bailey J's is, is very close. I think, is hers a third? I can never remember. It's really close to mine. See, if you're born in the same month as someone, then you're art or your birthday buddies. And if you're born on the same day, then you're birthday twins. 
So is there anybody else born October 1st who's my birthday twin? You don't have to be born the same year, but you have to be born the same day to be qualified as a birthday twin. I'm pumped for Inktober. Not sure if I'll participate, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what other people make. Me too. And the best part is about a month after Inktober, then everyone releases their Inktober uh, zines. Oh, so many good zines out there. And every year there gets more and more people do it, so there's more choices. So I, that's what I'm hoping. It's kind of my goal is to keep a collection of all my artwork so that I can put it out for a zine. Um, it should be. I hopefully we'll have it done and ready. So if anyone's going to the Eugene City Comic Con, I'll be able to premiere it for that, which is in November in Eugene, Oregon. It would be great. Am I live? I am live right now. If you're watching on September 25th, 2018 at 7.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, then I am live right now. Bam. I have to make a little pumpkin. I don't want, I'm trying to decide if I want to give him black hair because, like, November's you know, got the black hair, but he's got like cute, like blondish, strawberry blonde hair. So maybe we'll just go really light with it, just to kind of give it a little bit of a texture. Let's make another layer. Okay, there we go. Just go like that, and then we'll clean up around there. I am doing the official prompt, but themed it on princesses. Oh my goodness, that sounds so fun. If you do a zine, let me know. I'd love to see it. I love collecting zines when I can. The fly is back. He has yet to fly at my nose yet, but he's right there. Wiggling his little, not antennas, but his little, subtle lace up. Like that. It's creeping me out. It's like he's... It's a vampire fly. Oh, he just <laughs> ate this fly. Maybe he's just really friendly. I'm going to say he's really friendly. He's going to feel the friendliness of my friendship since this stream is over. You'll see how friendly I can be. <laughs> For me, it's 10.30 at night. Woo. Thank you for hanging out with us. That's, that's some dedication right there for sure. All right. Let's go ahead and merge all the colored layers together. And I can kind of go back in. I'm just using a my eraser, but it's soft, so it's kind of fuzzy. It's kind of fuzzy. That's a bear fuzzy so it's a little bit softer so I can kind of add a little bit of highlights in there and then I have to add some treats and put the pumpkin face on there anyone got tips for animating who give yourself a lot of time Animation is fun, but man, it takes forever. All right, I'm gonna just color that up a little bit. Clean up around the edges. And then we'll go in with our so we'll give him a little jack-o'-lantern face. Is that the consensus? So we have this great pumpkin patch. It's like a family-owned pumpkin patch. Um, and every year we go there and get a pumpkin. And it's so fun. So I want to take my video camera out there because it's so pretty too. This little way out. 
in the country. Well, I live in the country, but they live way out in the country. And it's just beautiful. They're surrounded by the mountains and the fall colors are so pretty. Because see, I live right next to the ocean. So it never gets super hot here. Um, but if you drive in like 10 miles inland, then you get the full seasons. So we, we don't get full seasons here. We get like a very mild summer and a very mild winter. But in a little bit you can get up in the 90s easily and snow so their trees always turn away before any of ours so it's just fun to go and see all the colors and then they have hay rides and all sorts of like a, a corn maze so my niece wants to do the corn maze this year so i'm gonna take her and we're gonna do the corn maze and hopefully we won't get lost so if you don't see me for a couple of months it's Probably because I got lost in the corn maze. <laughs> All right, so there is his little pumpkin, little pumpkin candy thing. Okay, so now let's make another layer and let's put the candy in there. So think of some different kinds of candies if I forget anything. So I'm going to do like the little twisty spiral candies. We'll do one of those and we'll do a little lolly. And then we'll do, we'll do another lolly here. I'll put some white behind it in a second. And we'll do a little, little heart shaped chocolate. And any other kind of candies? We'll do some little circles. We'll do some little, maybe they're like little gumballs. And then we'll do another little wrapper candy going into the pumpkin. That's also a great reason to live where I live because we have saltwater candy or saltwater taffy. If you've never had saltwater taffy, you have not lived. It's so good. But there's so many stores here that make it fresh. Is absolutely divine. If I ever do another giveaway, I should include some saltwater taffy and some cranberry candy because cranberries are, they're not a lot of places. They're here and then in New England has cranberries, but I don't know that too many other places have them, but we have an actual shop that started their original cranberry fields. It was just like three blocks away from my house was the original. It's actually where my my church is now. It was a cranberry field, and now they're all over the place. But you can get some delicious cranberry candies. But the cranberry sweets is so fun because you can get to go into the little candy shop, and then they have, it's kind of like Costco, only small, and candy. So, you know, on Costco, you can walk through and just, like, sample all the things that Costco has. Well, there you can just go and just eat chocolate and candy until you're sick. So I always feel like I have to buy something because I've eaten so much free candy that they give me. So I'm like, hmm. All right, so there is the candy going into his little jar. And I need to put his little bat bobby pin on his head. Get back to my pin. Okay, so I want a little bat. Little cute bat pin. Have you ever seen something super cute at the store and you were like, I should buy that? And you're like, no. And then you don't buy it and then you regret it for the rest of your life. It wasn't bat pins, but I was just thinking that. Like, ugh. Sometimes there's just things that you're like, oh. But then there's other things that I like. I was like, oh, I really, really want this. So then I buy it and then I get home and I never use it. So. I guess it makes up for it. But there were some really cute things at the Rose City Comic Con that I was like, I should buy that. And I was like, no, no, you don't need to buy it. Don't buy no stuff. And now, as the last unicorn would say, I have regret. <laughs> so one was like, totally off topic of what I'm drawing, but it was Disney princesses 
but they were made in Japan, so they were like the cutest little Japanese faces, like just kawaii, you know. And they were only like this big. They were so cute, but they were fifteen dollars a piece. And I told myself, mm, you don't need to buy any more things to sit around. See, like I have like a collection of Funko Pops. So I have of Sailor Moon, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid, BB-8, um, Anna, only because I got her free. Um, and then I bought, I had Bob Ross as well. And then I bought Yoda and Scrooge McDuck. So those are my Funko Pops. And I only buy Funko Pops that I would have on my board of directors. Um, they're the ones who help make business decisions for the studio. So like Scrooge McDuck is in charge of, he's the treasurer of my board. And Mr. Rogers is in public relations. So <laughs> so I try to choose. So otherwise I would just buy all the Funko Pops because they're so cute and I love them all. So I try to limit myself. But I was trying to convince myself that I could get these little Disney princesses and they would be so cute. But they had an Alice one. I don't know what it is about Alice in Wonderland lately, but the, like the last year or two, anything Alice in Wonderland, I'm like, I must have it. I think it's because she has crazy dreams and I have crazy dreams. So we're, we're very similarly weird. All right. So he's got his little bat bobby pin. I don't think it looks like a bobby pin yet. Let me put like a little maybe that looks like body thing. okay and then I want to give him an actual bat buddy so guess what you guys we're gonna make another layer so I'm gonna do a quick sketch of my little bat friend here it's gonna be kind of what he's looking at so there's a little head fun fact many years ago I was writing a web comic <laughs> and putting it out online. Um, I did not finish it, uh, as many webcomic artists have done. But I had this little bat character, and oh, he was my favorite. His name was Puka. And he was an, based off an Irish myth, like a folklore. So Pukas are like magical creatures that can change shape. And usually they're quite mischievous and you don't really want to hang out with Pukas because they're kind of they're kind of evil, but this puka was very cute. And so the form that they usually take is um, a black stallion and they'll trick people and uh, they'll try to get up on this horse to tame it. And then they'll take off running and you'll die because you can never get off of them. So, but another form they'll take is a little bat. And so I had written this little story, which I'd love to revisit, but it was a story about a, a little banshee girl. She was just a little girl and she was a banshee and she was very sweet, but she had no friends except for Puka. That's her little bat friend. I never finished it. It's one of those things where you start drawing it and then you get like halfway through it and then you go, oh, my art is so much better now. So then he's like, I'm going to redraw the whole thing. And then you never do. Yeah, that's, that's where I was. All right. So there's the cute little bat. Let's see if I need to move him anywhere. Let's, Cause he's on his own little layer. If you overlap things a little bit, then they kind of connect in. So maybe it make oh, do that. Maybe it looks like, it kind of looks like he's pooping them, but he's not. He's dropping them off. He's collected the candies for his candy bag. And now I can go in and sketch him. So so he has a friend who's Puka. Because Puka needs a friend. This one's really big. There we go. And then I think we'll be almost done with this commission. Do I ever draw on the wrong layer? Oh, all the time. I am notorious for drawing on the wrong layer. Now there's some artists, and this is a really good thing to get in the habit of, who name their layers. So they meticulously go through and, and name every one of them so they can know. And then you can lock them. There's like little locks right here. 
So say I have a layer and I don't want to want you to push that little lock button and then you can't do anything. Those are all great safeguards if you use them. If you use them. I never remember to use them. But I'm really good at selecting things and copy and paste them onto new things. But it's really bad, like, now you got me scared. <laughs> if you start inking in over your sketch layer, you're doomed. You just have to re-ink it in. Yep. All the time. Especially if I'm not paying attention. I'm really surprised I haven't messed up super bad on this one yet. It's probably the fly. He's keeping me on my toes. I tell you I had a bat in my room like last month. I haven't had bats in my room forever. They used to have them all the time. I found out it was my cat. She would catch them and she would bring them into my room because she was a great provider for me. But I had this bat in my room and I army crawled out of my room, rolled down the stairs because I love bats outside, but I don't like them inside. Mm. So then I got my roommate and she came up and caught it for me and rescued it and got it outside. I think that's what I'm most scared of. They're so tiny here. I mean, we don't have big bats. They're just little. And they're so cute, but I'm so afraid they're like going to hit me or hit the wall or hurt themselves. And I don't want them to hit me or get stuck in my hair because then I'll do the flaily thing and I'll probably hurt them even worse. And so, yeah. But no worries. The bat survived, so that's good. We have lots of bats here. It's really kind of fun if you go right out at twilight and you just look up at the sky. And you go, wow, there's, there's some birds flying around there. Nope, those are bats. They're just tiny little bats eating our mosquitoes, which I'm very thankful for because mosquitoes are little blood-sucking zombies. I need to go far, far away. There we go. Where's our cute little bat friend? Na 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 bat friend. There we go. All right. I think it's just about done. He's got his little candy collected by his little bat friend. Let me take that off for a second that off for a second we can keep that up there there we go i like him so now all that's left is to sign away at the bottom of the page there we go and we are done with the commission so today's commission was brought to us by let me get the little name out there it's covered up by the bat but mountain dreams thank you so much i don't know if you're still in the chat or not but i will be um sending this to you via uh, messenger on instagram or not instagram on your etsy shop um so you can look for that in just a little bit as soon as i finish the stream i will send that off to you again if anyone else um, wants to do a commission um, I have one listing. I don't know if it, it's still available. It looks like it's still available as of right now. Anyway, all the information is in the description box below. If you do miss out on it and want it later, I am I will hopefully have some. I don't know if I'm going to do it in October because I'm going to be doing Inktober. I might do live streams with Inktober, not every single day, but that might be fun to just hang out with you guys while we Inktober together. That would be fun. So anyway, I will definitely will be doing live streams. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's see. I don't remember what time I started this or how long the stream is. Usually they've been running about an hour. I think this one is an hour and a half. So we got a bonus 30 minutes of streaming fun, all because the fly trying to fly at my nose. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and hanging out in the stream and being awesome and all that stuff. I love, uh, doing these with you guys and, um, We'll hopefully be back next week with another stream. 
I'm going to be celebrating my birthday next week, so maybe we'll do a birthday stream or something. I have a ton of mail to open, so maybe I'll do a mail opening video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and until next time, God bless you guys. Go watch my Alice in Wonderland piece if you haven't from Monday's video. I loved it so much, and not very many people have gotten to see it yet, so I would love for you if you would just jump over there or share it with your friends and family so they can watch it. Have a great day, and we'll see you in another art video stream stuff. Bye!